We begin tonight with a growing list of schools with mold in Alamance County. Good evening. I'm Sydney Moore. And I'm Chad Silber. An online dashboard launched by Alamance Burlington Schools confirms workers are now clearing mold out of 25 schools. It already cleared two others. That means nearly three quarters of all ABSS schools have dealt with issues in recent weeks. One leader admitted today he never expected the issue to get so bad. WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman learned how it plans to get students back into the classroom as soon as possible. Nearly every single chair in today's meeting was filled as school board members and county commissioners talked about the ongoing mold problem. During the meeting, we learned the district discovered toxic mold at five more schools, bringing the total to seven. For the third time this week, Alamance County leaders gathered to talk mold. This is the primary concern for, for the county and for 26,000 ABSS students. So. I'm happy to be here as long as it takes to get this thing resolved. Alamance County Commissioner Craig Turner made several motions in order to address the growing mold problem. One of those motions was to take money from other projects like roofing in order to pay for mold removal. We are reapportioning about $5 million that was going to those roof projects that came from a capital reserve source. We're reallocating that money for, for mold remediation. At the meeting, commissioners agreed to give an additional $7 million for cleanup. The district says it'll have 2,000 contractors on site this weekend to speed up the process. Commissioner Turner says the board wants kids in desks by Tuesday. Some parents, like Tamika Harvey, think differently. I think ABSS should just say, hey, let's do virtual until the end of September. October, we will open our school doors up knowing that the air quality is good in our schools and knowing that kids are safe with coming back to our schools. I get it. No one wants to do virtual and that's fine. But when you think about the safety of our children, I think virtual is okay. Now at this point, the district says 13 school buildings are open to staff and student and will be ready going on Tuesday. The district says it's working to clean 25 other schools. There are still three district buildings that have yet to be inspected. We have more team coverage coming your way this time for the latest on the mold in Alamance Burlington schools. Yeah, we heard some significant new developments today and we're hearing from frustrated parents ahead of what was what's supposed to be the first day of school next week. What started out as one school with mold has ballooned into 17 schools impacted by some kind of mold issue. Well, so has the cost. The district just allocated $5 million to remove the mold in six schools. The district estimates it will cost $20 million total to clean 17 schools, but that doesn't include roofing and structure repairs. Uh, the other significant development for the first time since this whole saga began, the district says it's found toxic mold that happened at Cummings High and Broadview Middle. We'll dive into more and what that means coming up in a little bit. Let's start with WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas. District and local leaders met for hours today. Does Giselle, what did they decide? Now they approved the $5 million to clean up mold in six schools, and this comes just two days after approving a little over $3 million to clean up what is now identified as black mold in Broadview and Cummings. Now in today and Monday's meeting, parents made it very clear that they want their opinions heard. So it's unsurprising that these issues have compounded to the point where we are now seeing toxic levels. The district said today crews were going through schools, checking air quality and performing surface mold tests. These walkthroughs will continue tomorrow. While we wait for the results, parents say the $20 million estimated price tag to clean the whole district could have been avoided. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be looking at, you know, multiple more millions of dollars if they had fixed issues as they were reported and properly maintained buildings. Now, district officials say that they plan to have students back in their schools, back in school September 5th, but they warned that some students may be placed in different buildings. Now, they have a meeting that's coming up to discuss finances this Friday at 3 p.m. Live in Alamance County, Giselle Thomas, back to you, WFMY News 2. Mold found in a 
5th Alamance Burlington School. The information came into our newsroom just hours ago. Williams High School is the latest school to be impacted. The others are Andrew Elementary, Newland Elementary, Cummings High and Broadview Middle School. All of them are within Burlington city limits and about 10 minutes away from each other. WFMY News 2's I Denise McMiller talked with a frustrated parent and a former school board member about their concerns ahead of the new school year. Yes, Cindy, the big question parents have is how did this get overlooked? And according to the district in the past, they did not do yearly inspections. Issues were only reported when administrators saw them. So there could be even more schools in poor condition. Administration with the Alamance Burlington School System learned of mold in five of its schools right before the start of classes. The first was reported at Andrews Elementary during summer cleaning last month. Students are now safe to return there for the start of school. After days of repairs to the HVAC system, the district says caused the problem. Weeks later, mold was found at Newland Elementary for the same reason. Newland students will start school at Ray Street Academy, and Ray Street Academy students will go to Graham Middle School. There's issues at Graham Middle. We don't want to move the children twice. Why didn't they, we just did a major renovation of additions at Southern High School where we added on additional classrooms. It's a little disturbing. Patsy Simpson served on the school board for 17 years before retiring this year. She says mold concerns at ABSS are not new. She shared these photos she took in 2017 at Cummings and Broadview where mold was growing on the ceiling. Simpson says at the time, all the board could do was have maintenance put a Band-Aid on the problem due to a lack of funding. Is the result of inadequate funding uh, in the capital improvement uh, budget. We could not have done anything else uh, to maintain our schools. It's a result of neglect. And now the future is uncertain for students at Broadview Middle and Cummings High School because of mold. I want them to be safe um, and I want them to be in a safe environment. My son who does have um, health issues with breathing, so um, I would definitely not want him to go there if, you know, there is an issue there. Tamika Harvey's three children attend Cummings. Her son has asthma and her daughter spent the summer in the building for cheer practice. We've spent massive amounts of money in other things, other schools, new schools, but yet and still, we still have our older schools that are not in great condition, you know. Why can't we spend that same money to make sure that our kids or to make sure these schools get the same treatment? The district is waiting for test results at Cummings and Broadview before they make a decision. As for Williams High School, it is closed and students will instead go to Tarantine Middle. Mold was found in several classrooms and other areas Monday. The district says at a meeting next Monday, they'll discuss hiring an outside firm to conduct indoor air quality testing and roof evaluations at all schools. ABSS has used just over a million of its $3.3 million in capital improvement funds to make repairs so far. The Triad CW starts now. Right now at 10 o'clock, more money. A county commission is shuffling around funds to help a school district plagued with mold issues. The questions they still have for the school system tonight. Enough like the glass, the bill working through the Senate that could pour more booze right here in North Carolina. But first on this Tuesday, troubles continue tonight over the start of school for Alamance County students. The Alamance Burlington School System says county commissioners have now reallocated nearly $4 million in funding to go toward mold remediation efforts. Kara Peters joins us live in studio with more on this. And Kara, this seems to be more so a case of moving money around. Yeah, Devonta, I think that's a good way to describe it. District leaders say the funding that was originally set aside for a roof project at Southern Alamance High School will now instead be used for the mold remediation work across the district schools. County commissioners as well as ABSS students and parents now hoping they can still adhere by the new school start date of September 11th. You cannot imagine how many emails, voicemails, text, so forth that this board has received over this issue. County commissioners meeting Tuesday morning to discuss the latest with mold remediation efforts across the Alamance Burlington school system. District leaders say over 2,000 contractors are working to clean mold found in 30 of their 38 schools. More than half of them identified having toxigenic mold. 
County commissioners were given an update on the recent measures to get students and faculty back inside the classrooms by their new date, September 11th. Some commissioners not satisfied with the level of communication from the district. I, as a commissioner, did not receive any notification of the postponement of schools from today. Why are we, as commissioners, not receiving the information on the front end and before it's just general information? County commissioners also asked the district Tuesday if they looked into how long this has been an issue. Toxigenic mold cannot grow in one growing season. It takes multiple growing seasons for this to occur. Have, have you done any research on, on that to see if this was a problem that was uh, here over time? And now with more funds going towards remediation efforts, district leaders say they hope to figure out a long-term plan to prevent this from happening in the future. That's got to be our laser focus moving forward, not looking backwards. Roofs, water intrusion, dehumidification, uh, those, are, those are the things that cause mold. And until we figure out how to address those and be preventative moving forward, mold's not going to go away. And these mold remediation efforts also come following the recent opening of Southeast Alamance High School. County commissioners asked if that campus has been tested for mold, but district leaders say not at this time. And of course, you can find the latest developments and ongoing cleanup projects surrounding ABSS on our website at WXII12.com. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Kara Peters, WXII 12 News. Because of the delay to the start of the school year for Alamance Burlington Schools, some parents are scrambling now trying to figure out what to do with the unexpected extra week of summer break. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke with several organizations that are coming to the rescue. Mold. These are issues that have been going on for many years. Causing some parents to scramble as the first day of school is pushed back. Schools in Alamance County will now start Tuesday, September 5th due to mold found at a dozen schools. I know there are a lot of parents that are going to struggle next week. Summer programs across Alamance County are stepping up to help. Phones have been going crazy. Skills for Kids is a summer camp in Graham and Burlington. Owner Shannon Edwards says they'll be extending their program into next week in order to provide some relief for families. Parents have to work and they need a place that's safe, that's fun for their kids to be able to come where they know that they can drop them off, they're going to be fed, they're going to have fun, we're going to take good care of them. The city of Burlington is also extending its summer camps. We want to help the families. Um, we know it's very needed right now because um, parents are working, so we, we're going to pull it together as a team and make it work. These, along with summer camp at Graham Recreation and Parks, the Salvation Army of Alamance County are also stepping in to help. I think we all learned with COVID, you, you stop, you pivot, you do what you have to do in order to help the community. I do rely on a uh, summer camp that he goes to, and they're usually good about if school cancels or class to close down for something like that, they'll watch him as well. Now, as the district works to fix the mold problem and get students back into the classrooms, we know it's going to come with a big price tag. So far, cleanup at just two schools costs more than $1 million.